To create a table of contents in Microsoft Word, uh, it's important to understand the use of styles. And uh, under the styles, you'll be utilizing heading one style, heading two, and any of those heading styles throughout the document. And once you have specified in the document a specific style, then the table of contents can be generated. So you cannot create the table of contents without the use of styles in your document. So the first thing to do is to go throughout our document and specify the styles. So in our case here, we're going to pick this section and we're going to uh, label this or we're going to apply heading number one style. Then we're going to go in this other section and we're going to use heading number two. In here, we're going to use, let's say, heading number one. Heading number one. Heading number two. Again, the organization or the application of the styles here depends on the logical arrangement and layout of your document. So you would not apply the style just like randomly. So we'll go through and apply more of those heading styles. If you want to apply heading number three or heading number four or heading number five, notice that it does not display heading number six until heading number five has been applied somewhere. So that's another key component or key idea concept to keep in mind here. So let's assume at this point that we have gone throughout the whole document and applied the styles. Now, one other thing to keep in mind as well, that if you do not like the layout of these styles, heading one, heading two, you can always right click on the style here, choose modify, and then adjust it to however you'd like it to be. So let's say if I want it in red, if I want it italics, and if I want it in uh, size uh, 18, it will go ahead and apply it, and it should have applied it throughout our document. So now that we have applied heading one, heading two, heading three, and so on styles, now we are ready to insert the table of contents. So to insert the table of contents, usually you could do it uh, at the very top of the document or at the very end of the document, depends on how you are preparing your report. You go under wherever in the document here, hit enter a couple times, or you could have it as a blank um, page where you could go under insert and then choose blank page here and then you'd have it right here let's say now we go under references and then choose table of contents under table of contents you pick one of those layouts one of those designs so for the sake of simplicity we are going to click on the, the first one and notice the table of contents at this point has been updated notice on the right hand side it's the pages and so on um, as you go to your document and apply or ch make changes to it, for example, this graphic was not supposed to be there, so that is under Analyze, um, Implement, and Review. As you go and make changes to it, then you can come back and let's say I'm going to adjust this to be heading number three. You go back to the table of contents so that you apply those changes and then you go to the top of table, table of contents and you choose update table to update the new table of contents with the changes that you have made. You choose update the entire table and it will rebuild the table from the beginning. So that's how you create a table of contents in Microsoft Word. Now uh, let's go ahead and um, insert footnotes and endnotes. So to insert, let's say I want to have in here or somewhere in here I want to add a footnote you click on references and you choose insert footnote once you click on insert footnote it will display right here and unfortunately right now because of the image here in the way it's not very visible but let's try it again in another location here we click on insert footnote and then you put your notes that you want to apply to this document or to this footnote. Endnotes work the same way. So if you wanted to insert endnotes, you just click on insert endnotes and the endnotes it will be a list of explanations or notes 
add it at the very end of your document or your project. Sometimes this is used in papers out there. 